This is Jerry Coviello, a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Tying Group, to show how to tie a woven body stonefly. Materials needed a 2x or 3x long hook. I'm going to use a Mustad 9672. Thread is going to be brown 60. Tail, two brown goose bites tied fork style. Thorax, brown and yellow embroidery thread. I'm going to weave this. Wing case, brown turkey tail, doubled wing case. Abdomen, tan ostrich hurl, and legs, partridge body feathers. We will attach the thread to the shank of the hook. We will go, we will cover the shank of the hook from the eye to the bend of the hook and bring the thread back towards the eye but leave a space. We will attach lead strips um, or non-lead to give a flat body look. If you do not want to weight the fly, you can use 30 or 25 pound test monofilament. What I like to do is coat uh, the underbody, whether it be lead strips or monofilament, with head cement so that it, once it dries, it will not move uh, while fishing and ruin the appearance of the flat body. What I like to do is to dub a ball of fur uh, at the bend of the hook to help separate the bayou tail so that it will stay fork-like. Now tie in the goose bites. The goose bites should only be a gap and a half long. You will tie them on each side of the ball of fur. Now you want to tie in the embroidery thread. We will always make sure that the yellow is on the bottom and the brown is on the top. Um, when I get the embroidery thread, uh, usually there are six strands and what I do is take three strands, split them in half, I take three strands and use those three, three strands for, to tie this fly. Now here comes the fun part, weaving the body. If you just follow one rule and make sure that the yellow always stays on the bottom and the brown always on the top, and it's almost like an overhand knot. So what you need to do is follow the, the example that of, the, of this video and make sure that the brown is always on the top and the yellow is always on the bottom. Uh, you don't always have to use embroidery thread you could use floss, you could use uh, mohair. Uh, uh, I've used floss, floss uh, frays a lot. Uh, the embroidery thread works great. Uh, 
the fish uh, teeth don't rip it apart as much as uh, floss does. One thing for this fly as you're weaving the uh, materials, uh, make sure when you do tie the knot, make sure it is very tight. This woven body method has been around for years. Uh, one pattern that uh, uses this uh, instead of using uh, floss or uh, embroidery thread is the Bitch Creek which uses black and orange chenille. So as I've said, this, this type of uh, pattern design has been around for years.
Once the body has been tied at least a half the length of the shank of the hook, I will now tie in the wing case, which is a brown turkey tail, which I, what I like to do is spray them with a clear coat so that the fibers don't split. Then I'm going to take a partridge feather and I'm going to cut the middle out in a V and then I'm going to have the, the fibers straddle the hook and then secure it on the shank of the hook and I'll make sure the tips of the feather do not exceed past the point of the hook. Once that is secured I will now take two uh, tan ostrich hurl uh, and secure them at the bottom of the hook and what I'm going to do is wrap that uh, for the abdomen but the first couple of turns, first one or two turns I'm going to go backwards so to go over the turkey tail, the wing case, so that it doesn't leave any gaps. And then I will go forward. This is a double wing case, so the first part of the uh, segment is not going to be that large. Now pull over the turkey tail to, co uh, to cover the uh, ostrich hurl. I like to put my bodkin uh, right where I'm going to pull it over to give it a uh, nice, almost like a wing pad. Then I'm going to secure it right where I finish tying in the ostrich hurl. And then I'm going to pull the turkey tail back over and form another wing case so, so not to waste the materials. So now once the turkey tail is pulled over, I'm going to add more uh, partridge legs, just like I did in the first uh, time. And I'm going to add ostrich hurl, and then pull the wing case back over that segment, and uh, add one more time uh, the partridge legs, so that I have uh, three sets of legs on both sides, giving me six legs, to give a nice... Uh, stonefly appearance. Now we'll cut the, uh, the excess wing case material. We will then whip finish the fly and then we will add the head cement and we will be done with this fly. As you'll see underneath the yellow is on the bottom and the brown is on the top. Uh, this is when you look at most stone flies they are usually bicolor, a dark color on the top with a lighter color on the bottom.